What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video we're going to go over the Roswell Mini K lineup. And that's because Roswell is running a holiday sale where you can get discounts on all of the Mini K mics. And I think this is the only time of the year that Roswell runs a sale. So if you're looking to get a Mini K mic, this is a great opportunity. Uh, this sale is going to run through December 4th, 2023 or until supplies last. So first we'll go over what the sale is. I'll explain how the sale works and then I'm going to speak into each one of the Mini K mics read some of the product descriptions so you can hear uh, the differences between these on my voice all right let's get started all right so we're here on uh, Roswell site and so this is how this sale works uh, if you get two mini K mics you're gonna have to get uh, at least two to save so if you get two uh, you're gonna save 10% if you get three you're gonna save 15% and if you get four you're going to save 20% and you can also save $50 on any single Mini K microphone with their new LC edition. So let's click on that and check that out. So uh, the LC edition, uh, from what I'm understanding, uh, these will these will be mics that come uh, without a flight case. You can see uh, what makes these LC edition is the alternative packaging and accessories. The LC edition microphones are bundled with a heavy-duty swivel mount and a Roswell micro fleece pouch. Uh, they ship in a compact carton with a die-cut foam. Uh, so you don't get a flight case with these. So you can save some money on these if you don't need or want the flight case. And on Roswell's site, if you go to products and catalog, I'm going to show you something I really like. Uh, they have brief descriptions of all of their microphones, which is really handy because it lets you quickly find what you may look for or give you a quick uh, description of each of their mics. Uh, let's go through them. Uh, we're going to be looking at these first four on this site, the 47, 47X, 67, and 87. Uh, the 47KD stands for kick drum. Uh, that's one I don't have. Uh, but uh, we'll be going through these uh, first four mini K mics. Uh, but uh, for the brief description, uh, K47, uh, they describe as mid-range detail, K47X, presence and character, K67X, harmonics and air, uh, K87, warm and neutral, uh, K47KD, huge bottom, which is uh, obvious for it being a uh, kick drum mic. Uh, Delphos 2, clean and versatile, and Colaris Vintage Vibe, and then their new flagship Aztec they describe as just jaw-dropping. Jaw uh, the Aztec is a uh, Elan 251 style mic. All right, uh, I do agree with all of these uh, descriptions of uh, these mics, uh, but let's go ahead and get into how they sound. I'm going to read some product descriptions so you can hear how they sound on my voice. Okay, before we listen to how these mics sound, let me explain something or uh, explain what happened. So when you see me on camera speaking into the Mini-K mic, you're actually hearing me on my shotgun mic. I was speaking into the Mini-K mic connected to the interface, but I forgot to connect the interface to my mixer and my mixer is connected to the camera and my shotgun mic was still on. So I'm in my headphones, I'm hearing myself on the Mini-K mics but that's not what's being recorded into the camera so to uh, not have to do the whole video over what i'm going to do is when i read the product description then i'm going to switch over to studio one and play back where i've read the product description into each mini k mic all right let's move forward all right so we're going to start with the uh, mini k 47 uh, so i got the mini k 47 here and it is connected to a uh, black line audio revolution 6x6 that's the preamp that i'm using so i'm going right from the mini k 47 into the interface uh, before we get started i want to point out a few things one um, all roswell mics are designed assembled and tested in california uh, if that's important to you and uh, another thing i want to point out is that i've seen some people of feel or believe that these mini K mics are meant to uh, be a clone per se of like a U47 or U67 or U87. And that's not the case. The name 47, 67, uh, 87, uh, the number in these mics refer to the capsule design. So this mini K47 is a 47 style capsule, 67 is a 67 style capsule, and the 87 is a 87 style capsule. All right, with that out the way, uh, let's read some of this uh, product description and then I'll tell you how I like to use this mic. K47 refers to the capsule design. Our K47 capsule is modeled after one in the most famous microphone of all time. It provides a full, balanced tone without any harshness or hype in the upper frequencies. It will record less sibilance and fewer mouth sounds on your next vocal track. It will add weight, body, and tone to high strings and electric guitars. It will reduce the jangle and strummed acoustic tracks. We created a clean, transparent circuit design. 
It lets the sound of the capsule pass through without alteration. Self noise and distortion performance are on par with microphones costing significantly more. The circuit incorporates the best tricks we've learned from modifying and upgrading other companies' products. All right, so uh, the uh, Mini K47, I like to use this on acoustic guitars. I also like to use it on electric guitars. And from time to time, I'll put it on a vocal, uh, but mostly I like to use this on guitars. All right, uh, let's move to the next mic, which is going to be the very similar, but a little bit different, uh, the Mini K47X. All right, so I got the Mini K47X here, and this is essentially the same mic, but this has a transformer inside of it. And uh, quickly going back to the Mini K47, just a fun fact, the Mini K47 was the first Mini K microphone. It's kind of the one that uh, started this whole thing off. All right, uh, but the Mini K47X, this has a transformer in it. Uh, besides that, same mic as the 47. Uh, so these will sound similar, but with this 47X, if you hit it hard with a loud source, you're gonna get some uh, saturation from that transformer. I will just read some uh, product description from this one. The Mini K47X provides a unique and compelling combination of the attributes of our two most popular microphones, while retaining the point and shoot simplicity of the Mini K mic family. On quiet sources, the K47X would sound similar to the Mini K47, although perhaps 1 dB more neutral above 2K. On moderate to louder sources, the K47X circuit will be pushed into gentle saturation, which adds harmonic complexity and richness to the sound of the mic. Simultaneously, sharp transients in the source will be slightly rounded and softened, giving the K47X a sound that invokes classic European tube microphones or a 2-inch tape deck. All right, so that's the Mini K47X. Now, uh, this one I like to use on bass amps. Uh, that's a loud source. I can hit that transformer kind of hard and get some saturation out of it. Uh, so this is one I like to use uh, mostly on that. Again, I'll throw this up on a vocal as well, especially if it's a vocal that I know, uh, like a singer that's gonna really uh, get into it and get kind of loud. We're gonna get some saturation out of the transformer uh, in this microphone. All right, uh, let's move to the next one. All right, so now we got the Mini K87. So I have a pair of these, and this is the most uh, transparent and clean between all the Mini K mics. Uh, let's read uh, some product description from this one. The Mini K87 is a high resolution condenser microphone with a neutral voicing. It expires to transparency rather than color, yet it retains enough character to capture and communicate the emotion of the source. The Mini K87 excels on vocals, sung and spoken, including voiceover and podcasting, guitars, acoustic strings, and drum overheads. We find that neutral microphones tend to be compatible with a wide range of sources, both instruments and vocals. Because the microphone is not trying to impose too much of its own sound on the source, the Mini K87 sounds good on many of them. All right, so and I can even hear this in, in the headphones that uh, just this is just really clean and neutral. So I mentioned I had a pair of these. I like to use these when I'm stereo micing guitars, uh, acoustic guitar, and I like to use this uh, on overheads as well, which is kind of two obvious things to do when you have a pair of microphones. I have not yet, but would much like to record a piano, like a grand piano with a pair of these uh, K87s uh, through either a nice stereo uh, two preamp or transformer balance preamp like my uh, mic tech mpa uh, i had planned to do that and COVID messed up so many things <laughs> but um i really want to get this on piano and check it out but uh, having a pair of these is great because they're so neutral i can use them on uh, many different sources and i get great results with it all right let's check out the last one all right, so now we're on the Mini K67X. So with the name X, uh, you can guess that yes, this has a transformer in it, just like the 47X. So across the Mini K lineup, we have two transformerless mics, the 47 and the 87, and then we have the 47X and 67X that include transformers. And it's a pretty sizable transformer too. Like I'm really surprised they were able to get that big of a transformer <laughs> in this mic. A uh, funny story, when Roswell sent me this mic, uh, they told me they were sending me their new mic. I didn't ask what it is, but I got it and opened it and said, oh, okay, cool, another uh, Mini K mic. What's different about this one? And uh, Matt just said, open it. And I opened it and saw this huge transformer in it. So, all right, but let's read some of the product description off this one. The Mini K67X is a unique large diaphragm condenser microphone designed to excel on vocals and guitars. 
The Mini K67 expands on our promise of sonic diversity. The capsule voicing strikes a balance between neutrality and flattery with tight bass and an open top end. The circuit enhances the sources with harmonics. The mic retains the point and shoot simplicity of the Mini K lineup. The mic's name, K67X, refers both to the capsule design and the circuit topology. The capsule is based on the K67. Although we've built and voiced it with some proprietary tricks to create a sound unlike any other K67 capsule, the X in the model name refers to the transformer coupled circuit, which gives the mic its trademark harmonic saturation. All right, so you can see we're going for something that's more colored and really with this mic, this is my favorite uh, Mini K mic on vocals. The top end that you get combined with that saturation, I, I like things that are colored but still retain clarity and this is one of those mics that does that. I get that top end air, it still, it still has a little bit of color to it and we also have clarity in it. And yeah, this is my favorite one for vocals. So uh, the uh, Mini K47, 47X, 87, and K67, uh, definitely comment and let me know uh, what do you think these sound like on my voice, which one of these do you prefer? Uh, if you have any of these Mini K mics, definitely comment and let me know how you're using them. And again, uh, the sale on these mics is gonna run until December 4th, 2023, or until supplies last. And of course, I'll have a link in the description if y'all wanna check it out and learn more about it or pick it up. Also, I either have first impression videos or full reviews on all of these mics. Um, I will have a review on the 47X coming. Uh, some of y'all have asked for that and really what happened with that, again, COVID messed up so many things. I got that mic during COVID where I wasn't going to the studio too much and just really just uh, forgot to get it in there uh, for a review. Uh, but I've got some content with the 47X coming soon. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if y'all want to continue to see content from me, then y'all know what to do.